Life Chiropractic, the High Desert's largest chiropractic facility, has been providing gentle pain relief to residents of the High Desert for over 10 years. With an atmosphere of warmth and caring, it's no wonder that many High Desert professionals, including teachers, police, firefighters, mayors, judges, even physicians and surgeons, call Drs. Bamer and Courthouse their chiropractors. Dr. James Bamer and Dr. Edward Courthouse are both certified doctors of chiropractic. Lifelong friends, they are both graduates of the Los Angeles College of Chiropractic. Each has over 13 years of private practice experience. Drs. Bamer and Courthouse have had extensive experience in treating headaches, neck and back pain, sciatica, and disc problems. In addition, they both have specialized training in the treatment of auto, sports, and work injuries. Their philosophy is that every patient deserves the highest quality of care. Life Chiropractic utilizes the most advanced forms of treatment available today. They also routinely work with medical doctors, both specialists and family physicians, to coordinate care for the fastest possible relief of pain. Hello, I'm Dr. Bamer. If you suffer from headaches, neck or back pain, what we have to say over the next few minutes may be of great benefit to you. Back pain has reached epidemic proportions here in the United States. In fact, according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, lower back injuries are the number one work-related injury in the United States. And when headaches, neck and back pain are combined, it creates the second most common reason why all patients in the United States go to the doctor. Now we've been told for years that 90% of this pain is self-limiting, meaning that within a few weeks and without any treatment at all, the pain will go away on its own. However, according to a recent survey printed in the prestigious British Medical Journal, it was revealed that in 75% of cases, the pain did not go away. Patients just grew tired of telling doctors about their symptoms and decided to learn to live with it. Yeah, about uh, 15, 20 years ago, I started having some back discomfort. And uh, in the process over the years, I kind of ignored it and didn't do any uh, activities to try to correct the problems. And it got to the point where I, my uh, actions, I could barely function properly, getting out of seats, getting out of bed in the mornings. I originally started having back problems when I was about 20 years old. That was over 20 years ago. Um, I've been a musician all my life and I was lifting some heavy equipment in a way that I shouldn't have and it threw my lower back out and I had problems ever since then. December, I noticed that my I was getting severe headaches and my neck was very very stiff. A couple days I would wake up very nauseated due to the pain. I went to the doctor and they put me on muscle relaxants and 800 milligrams of Motrin but I knew I did not want to do that for months at a time because I, I knew that wouldn't be good. I'm a teacher and I'm in a uh, program right now to get my master's degree and so I think the stress of that was start, sort of exasperating the problem. Uh, I never could tell when I was going to start having pain. Um, I might be writing a note, a letter to a parent or something like that, even uh, just studying for some of my classes in school and it would get so bad I couldn't even finish taking the notes on the page. I remember one day going to write a check and uh, I actually had the cashier write out the whole check and I just signed it because it was the pain was so bad. If this sounds like you or someone you know, stay tuned for the next few minutes. We will be discussing what causes back pain, what form of treatment was most highly recommended by the United States government, and why deciding to learn to live with it can have serious consequences in the long run. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Courthouse. Frequently we hear from new patients that come to the office that say, I thought the pain would go away. Or they ask, why isn't my pain going away? To understand this, we need to understand what pain is. Pain is a symptom. It is basically the body's way of telling us that there is something wrong. To understand what causes pain, we need to review the anatomy of the spine. Here we have the bones of the spine, also called vertebra. Between the bones are the discs. These are little shock absorbing pads. In the back of the spine are small joints called facet joints. When placed together, they form an opening. These are the nerves. Now if you look closely, you'll note that there should be plenty of room around the nerve. When the spine becomes misaligned or subluxated, pressure can occur on these nerves. This is commonly called a pinched nerve. Unfortunately, taking medication, physical therapy, and exercise alone will not fix this problem. I became 
just so frustrated and desperate, I decided to look up a chiropractor for the first time in my life. I knew about him all that time. I even had a, an in-law that was a chiropractor, but the doctor just never recommended it. My dad never recommended it. Uh, the doctors I went to never recommended that. So I just suffered all that time not knowing that uh, uh, finding the right chiropractor could really make a difference. I did go to the doctor. He, you know, he felt my muscles. He said they were very, very stiff, and that's when he put me on the muscle relaxant and 800 milligrams of Motrin, which I took, and, and they would work. Oh, and Tylenol with codeine. <laughs> but I did not want to be taking all three of those things, obviously, for any length of time. Uh, at one point, I started going to physical therapy. Physical therapy didn't seem to help at all. I went for about 15, 20 treatments, and I had complete discomfort continued during that whole time. Uh, I was driving by one day and I saw Life Chiropractic and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go in there and give it a try again. Back pain started about 10-12 uh, years ago with work and stuff. I uh, started lifting, you know, lifting things the wrong way and, and uh, trying to lift too much and not using the equipment that I, that I should be using. And uh, slowly but surely I had more and more pain and finally decided I'd better seek some professional help instead of just trying to live with it. Seventy percent of the patients that come into our office will report that their symptoms have been present for more than six months. And in 50 percent of the cases, the pain has been there for more than two years. In most cases, the patient's original intention was to just learn to live with the pain. When the pain became too great, they finally come into our office. What I'd like to do now is take a moment to describe how arthritis forms in the spine and to discuss why just learning to live with it can have serious consequences in the long run. Here we have a normal healthy disc. In the center of the disc is a jelly-like material called the nucleus. This jelly should be approximately 88 percent water. Surrounding the nucleus are layers of the disc. Anatomically, these layers are very similar to the layers of an onion. Now, the disc does not have a blood supply of its own. Nutrients are brought into the disc through a pumping action as the bones move. This process, as you may remember from high school biology, is called osmosis. When the vertebra becomes stuck or subluxated, there is a loss of pumping action and therefore a loss of nutritional supply. When there is no pumping action to bring fluid back into the disc, the disc begins to degenerate and thin. As time goes on, small tears begin to occur in the layers of the disc, allowing the jelly to migrate outward, causing what is known as a bulged or herniated disc. When this occurs, besides localized neck or back pain, there can also be numbness, tingling, or pain radiating down the arms towards the hands or down the legs towards the feet. If this condition is left untreated, it will eventually completely destroy the disc. When the vertebra are subluxated, it places increased stress all along the edges of the vertebra. The body responds to this increased stress by lying down calcium and forming bone spurs. When this occurs, it is called degenerative arthritis. If this condition is left untreated, it progresses to what is known as advanced arthritis of the spine. This is a permanent condition which cannot be reversed. Is pain slowing you down? Then you should go where over 10,000 other residents of the high desert have gone to relieve their pain. Life Chiropractic. The first step is a complete examination to pinpoint the exact cause of your pain. The general treatment provided at Life Chiropractic is at the cutting edge of medical science today. So whether your pain is from an accident or injury or just life itself, call Life Chiropractic today and you too will be saying, Thank you Life Chiropractic. Now that we understand what causes pain, we are going to discuss how we can relieve your pain, but more importantly, correcting the underlying problem. The first step in this process is to perform a thorough history of the condition. When we are confident that we understand what you have been experiencing, then we will go back and perform a complete exam. This exam includes over 66 chiropractic orthopedic and neurologic test. When the exam is complete we will be able to determine which, if any, x-rays are needed. After we have had time to study 
and analyze the x-rays, we will sit down with you and explain to you what we have found. And we will actually show you your x-rays so you can see for yourself what the problem is. At Live Chiropractic, we utilize state-of-the-art technology that is at the cutting edge of medical research. Our treatment utilizes a combination of therapies, which include adjustments, flexion distraction for arthritis and herniated discs, therapy to help reduce inflammation, pain and muscle spasms, and rehabilitation exercises to strengthen and stabilize the spine, resulting in a more effective correction of the underlying problem. This is the same level of treatment that would be provided to a professional athlete. If it does not appear that your problem is a chiropractic one, we will make a recommendation to the proper specialist. This is one thing that I want to be very clear about. At Life Chiropractic, we do not accept any patients that we do not truly feel we can help. In addition, if your problem requires medical attention, we can also work in conjunction with your medical doctor to help solve your problems. Also, if you require a specific specialist, we work very closely with orthopedists, neurologists, and other medical professionals to provide whatever type of doctor you need. I came into Life Chiropractic. They did the x-rays, determined the, the problems I was having, and immediately started the adjustments. I was down to about a monthly visit, and uh, I'm feeling really good today. I can function properly, get out of chairs much easier, no problems when I'm sleeping at night. Um, all my... Uh, normal activities have resumed again. Lo and behold, the, the first treatment I got, I, I couldn't believe it. It, it, it just, uh, I, I felt hope again for, I don't know, the first time in 20 something years that, uh, that I was gonna, there, there was a way that I could get help and fix this problem. Well, since coming to Life Chiropractic, um, it's, it's kind of hard to say how does your life change when the things you couldn't do, now you can do, and don't have to worry about limitations. Um, I tell all my friends, you know, I've got several friends that have carpal tunnel or have had surgery, and I've told them, hey, chiropractic worked for me. It was immediate relief, and I started seeing signs of actually being able to heal and get my life back to order. Especially if, if there's a chronic pain, because you don't want to be on medications forever. I mean, it's just, it's just not good for you. And so I would recommend coming in and having the doctors look. A lot of people that have known me, you know, have asked me about my back from time to time, and I always point them to life chiropractic. I know there are a lot of chiropractors out there, but um, I know uh, the, the doctors there really helped me, and it changed my life. So I, I highly recommend life chiropractic and uh, I feel real good about it. Um, I get downright preachy about it sometimes. I have recommended life chiropractic to many of my uh, friends and acquaintances and several of them have come in and have really enjoyed it and uh, have appreciated the assistance they've been able to get from chiropractic care also and hopefully will continue and to recommend it I'll recommend it to anybody and everybody. Thank you life chiropractic. Thank you life chiropractic. Thank you, Life Chiropractic.